Hello, here are two problems where we differentiate and we have exponential functions, polynomial functions, and trig functions. And we use the product rule. So let's go ahead and jump in and find the derivative right here. Change the pen color, however. <clears throat> All right, so here we have a product of 2x cubed times e to the negative x. Let's take the derivative using the product rule. That's the go-to way to do this. Y prime equals, all right. Now, the thing I have to think about is, what am I going to do with this 2? We don't take the derivative of 2. It's a constant times a function. We leave the constant alone. I think I'm going to leave it outside on the doorstep. And then I'm going to use the product rule. First, I take the derivative of x cubed. Then I leave e to the negative x alone, plus leave x cubed alone, take the derivative of e to the negative x. That is the product rule. When I have two factors, I take the derivative of, the, of one of the factors, leave the other alone. Then I leave the, the one, I, then I leave it alone and then take the derivative. Well, let me show you here. Derivative, leave alone. Leave alone, derivative, okay? Could reverse the order. Because we have plus, you could leave alone derivative plus derivative leave alone. Okay. Now, let's just try to recall that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And the derivative with respect to x of e to the u is e to the u times u prime, meaning times du dx. So let's continue here. y prime equals 2. The derivative of x to the third power is 3x squared. Then I copy and paste e to the negative x. Plus x to the third, leave that alone, just copy and paste that. And then the derivative e to the negative x. Okay, this negative x is u. So we write down e to the u, which is e to the negative x. Then we take the derivative of negative x. The derivative of negative x is negative 1. Do I have enough parentheses there? All right, then I can multiply everything out. 2 times 3 is 6. x squared, e to the negative x. Then I have 2 times x cubed times negative 1. Let's see. Minus 2x cubed, e to the negative x. I think it would look better if I factored out just the exponential function. So I have an exponent times a polynomial, all right? That's just entirely just a question of style, if you like it that way. Okay, let's look at, I'll leave that there, but let's uh, do the next problem, move it up, so that you can still look at that one there. Okay, again, we're going to do the product rule because we have two different functions which are multiply together. You could put a dot between them if we want. So y prime equals the derivative of the first factor. Leave the second factor alone. Plus first factor, leave alone. Derivative of the second factor. In both cases, we need to use the chain rule. All right? In this Guy here, e to the negative 2x, we use this rule. The derivative with respect to x of e to the u is e to the u, u prime. Let's go for it. So I write down e to the negative 2x. In this case, u is negative 2x. Take the derivative of negative 2x. That's negative 2. Copy and paste sign 3x. Just This stays the same. Then on this next one, e to the negative 2x is the, stays the same. That's the, that's the product rule. Now we take the derivative of sine 3x. Let's check that out. Let's write a little formula perhaps to below here. So we know the derivative of sine x is cosine x. This is an aside. The derivative, the, using the chain rule, the derivative with respect to x of sine u is cosine u times u prime. u prime meaning du dx. 
that's the chain rule. You take the derivative of the outside, sign u, that derivative is cosine u. Then you look at the inside, u, take that derivative, and that's u prime. In this case, the inside function, the u function, is 3x. The derivative of 3x is 3. So this is going to be the derivative of sine u. You could even, for the moment, ignore what's inside. The derivative of sine u is cosine u. So we write cosine u, which is cosine 3x, times the derivative of what's inside, the derivative of u, which is 3. Hmm. It's starting to look messy. That's sometimes why we want to show work for how things are done, but sometimes if we overdo it, then it gets even, you know, sort of too messy. Okay, let's check it out, though. I'm big on factoring out the exponential. So we can have, like, you know, sort of showing the types of functions. e to the negative 2x times what's left behind is negative 2 times sine 3x. And then, hold on, the thing is, is that this is a little bit not very good. The way I wrote that dot, it's almost like subtraction. Okay, then I'm taking out negative 2x, and that leaves, leaves 3 cosine 3x. Maybe put a parentheses around that 3x like that. Hmm. And uh, what else can I say about this? There's actually a way... That you can you can you can combine this into one uh, shifted sine function uh, times a constant, a con like a constant times sine three x minus a, a number. But anyway, let's leave it like this. So uh, there we go. So um, those are two just two problems. Those are just two problems where we. Did a bit of chain rule and exponentials and and let's see polynomials and uh, derivative sign and okay so let's um let's, let's end up in there all right you guys uh thank you so much and take care.